Putting God in your marriage relationship would be hard work. Satan will do all he can to distract you and keep you from including God in this marriage relationship. And Satan hates strong Christian marriages. As many of you know, uh, Satan is bombarding a lot of marriages today. Not only uh, churchgoers, but non-churchgoers are, are being affected by, by Satan. I believe Satan is, is at work, and he, like I said, he doesn't like strong Christian marriages. And my prayer for you today that you would, uh, you would uh, combat that and that you would not allow Satan to, to get a foothold. And I believe if you work on these three areas, your marriage will be on the way to being, being a successful marriage. Listen to these words, and if you agree, I want you to say, I do. Rob, do you take Alicia as your wife, and do you promise to live together with her after God's ordinance in this holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her as long as you both shall live? I do. Alicia, do you take Rob as your husband, and do you promise to live together with him after God's ordinance in this holy state of matrimony? Will you love him? comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsake you all others, keep yourself only for him, as long as you both shall live. I do. Now I'll ask you to face each other. And Rob, I want you to repeat after me. I, Rob, take you, Alicia. I, Rob, take you, Alicia. As my God-given wife. As my God-given wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death separates us. Until death separates us. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. I promise you my love and my faithfulness. I promise you my love and faithfulness. Alicia, repeat after me. I, Alicia, take you, Rob. I, Alicia, take you, Rob. As my God-given husband. As my God-given husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or worse. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until death separates us. Until death separates us. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. I promise you my love. I promise you my love. And my faithfulness. And my faithfulness. What symbols do you bring today to express your love for one another? A rings. These rings are symbols of the covenant which has been made today between Rob and Alicia and God. The unbroken cir circle, the emblem of eternity, and the gold, the emblem of that which is least tarnished and most enduring, are to show how lasting and imperishable is the faith now mutually pledged by the giving and receiving of these rings. Rob, I want you to place the ring on Alicia's finger. Repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. The Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. <laughs> That's close enough. <laughs> okay, finish that later. <laughs> it's your turn. Lisa. Repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Very good. <laughs> At this time, the couple's going to light the unity candle. There are two candles lit up here already, each of them exp uh, symbolizing their life. And uh, they're going to light the center candle, which symbolizes the two lives becoming one. They'll exting extinguish the uh, lit candles and uh, leave the uh, center candle lit. Father Heaven, we thank you once again for uh, the union that's taking place here today. We ask your blessing on this couple. I pray that they would uh, need the words of those uh, three, six, uh, three C's for a successful marriage, that they would realize the importance of commitment, communication, and Christ, and the importance of including you in that relationship. 
Lord, we just uh, thank you that we can witness these vows today and that we can witness uh, the way that you answer prayer. As this couple's parents have been praying for them for years, that they would uh, find each other and, and that this uh, occasion would take place today. Pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 By God's grace and his provision, it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Is that long enough? <laughs> yeah, we can do another one later. For the first time, now for the first time, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Rob Foles. <laughs>